Hi, I'm Jared Nask. I'm the Chief Revenue Officer of Grubber. Grubber is a strategic partner of Samsung's. We're here at Infocom showcasing, among other things, the Samsung kiosk powered by Grubber. What uh, Samsung has done by coming out with this kiosk is really democratize access and affordability really to any size business, SMB, mid-market, or enterprise. What you're seeing is a 24-inch screen, has an embedded scanner, receipt printer, and your choice of payment device. All of these components uh, can now be had on countertop version for roughly $2,500. If you add the pedestal for the freestanding unit, you're talking roughly $3,000. That is in stark contrast to what they used to cost roughly two years ago when kiosks were on average five to $10,000. So let me show you the software. Uh, together with Grubber, the Samsung kiosk powered by Grubber is an end-to-end -end solution that's best-in-class hardware, best-in-class software. So all of what you're seeing can be customized, including this welcome screen, which serves as an advertising panel in its idle stage. So we'll tap to begin. We can customize all of the buttons. In this case, we'll do dine-in. This is what our typical builds will look like. Categories on the left, individual items on the right. We'll begin a bowl builder process. You'll see every step is articulated and you can't move on to the next stage without finishing the current stage. So in this case, I've got to pick my veggies, pick brown rice, noodles, spinach, broccoli. It immediately takes me to the next stage. In this case, I've got to pick a protein, no shredded beef, any one of our extras, additional add-ons, my sauce choice. Once I've completed all that, I could add it to the cart. One of the benefits of our solution is the ability to upsell. Consumers will spend 12 to 22% more when they order with their eyes and by touch and when they're presented with upsells. So in this case, I'm going to take the iced tea. And now those items are added into my cart like any other shopping cart experience that we're accustomed to. And I go to check out, you'll see all of the modifications are listed here. So much gets lost in spoken word between a customer and a cashier. That's not the case here. It puts the onus on the customer to confirm that all their modifications are accurate, thereby eliminating any waste and spoilage of food. So in this case, I've got it all right. I'm going to begin to pay, but we're not going to miss one last opportunity for an upsell. I'm going to take advantage of this upsell as well. I'd have to customize the upsell, add a couple more items on, pick my sauce for the upsell. I'll select it. Now it's been added. I'm going to go to the final payment process. You'll see we have tips. These are default settings, 15, 18, 20%. We could take this off entirely. We can modify these in different amounts. We also have a slider feature. So I'll be generous, I'll add a 28% tip. I'm gonna add that. We could uh, work with your operational process if in this case there are table tents. Uh, imagine taking the next table tent, number 14. This is a really neat component. So we're gonna gather the customer's information, their name, and their phone number. And we'll text the customer when their order is ready. And in this case, I'm going to pay with card. We would use the onboarded payment device, and we would complete our transaction. It's a pretty seamless automated process.